I arrived only yesterday, straight from uh, Havana, where we spent a couple of days and, um, and filmed a third episode of uh, the project I'm working on, uh, the Cycling Cities project, which is um, a project where we try to compare different cities uh, through a tour someone is making uh, through the city. In every city we compare the tour someone is making with Amsterdam. So all the moves and all the sides are comparable to each other. And, and the films are edited uh, exactly the same way. So in the end, all cities look, look the same. That's the idea. I started this workshop the past 10 years all over the world to uh, tell students and architects uh, that, that you can make use of anything that can film. And now that we have these cell phones, which are very, uh, very well equipped to, uh, for making films. I started this idea of mapping the city with your cell phone and tell a story about it. But it's not about the technical part that uh, uh, the workshop is, it's about the narrative. And you can make use of it and you can even edit on, on a modern device as a, as a cell phone. So it's more a lesson in, in understanding the, the emo emotional background of, uh, of the city. But it starts with understanding, well, the world. You always hope that uh, new uh, techniques will help people in understanding the world better. I compressed a normal workshop of five days in which we are, uh, uh, I give an introduction and and they develop a, a story and with that story they start uh, uh, drawing a storyboard and then they have uh, a list of shootings and then they develop the shootings and then they edit it and in the end there's a short film of three minutes. I'm more interested in the human aspect of, of our surroundings and how we act in our surroundings, how we uh, relate to each other and how we relate to our built environment. That's, that's more what I'm interested in. And, and there, the film can help. And if you analyze the things you, you've shot, uh, it can help in understanding your built environment. In the end, you can even have a 30 second story, you can even have an emotion that brings you to tears. That's wonderful. But because these people understand how to tell a story. Now, if you can do that in a setting, in an architectural setting, the built environment on a square, in a street, you have to watch, and that's what the story is about, to watch and understand the life you, we are living in, 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 the, in the great cities. And of course, you understand, you must, if you want to tell a good story, make them laugh.